Hello, and let me tell you how you test Web Converger in a virtualized environment using VirtualBox. I've just installed it, and it should look like this on your Mac OS X system. Can't be too different on Windows, and it's pretty much the same on Linux too. So the big thing to do when starting up your your um, your virtual image is to make sure you have at least a gigabyte of RAM. That's about that's about it. You don't actually need a, a disk. So leaving it at default should mean it's dynamically allocated. That means it shouldn't waste your disk space. The next thing is we need to pick out the the, the ISO the virtual CD that we've just downloaded. Just dig around my downloads directory. So let's, let's use that. Okay, choose the latest web verger. I'm just using the daily here for testing. And let's start it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks right. So the thing you can do here in terms of debugging is you can press tab and then you can add extra arguments. So here you can actually add home page equals uh, uh, blanket bbc.co.uk. You can obviously look up the API to look up all sorts of um, options like no blank meaning don't turn off the screen. Um, don't power save and debug is probably the most useful for me so that you can see what it's what's happening when it's uh, booting and also any other logging information but just to prove that this the, those two options work I'm just going to press enter there so the idea is you can test the API without relying on the configuration uh, management tool or you might want to you use the configuration manager and you just want to try something else uh, on top of uh, on top of it just to see if something works before you you put it into your configuration let's see capture keyboard mount integration just going to try and ignore these little messages So these are, this is the new branding for Web Converger. I hope you like it. The new logo. So the homepage we set was bbc.co.uk. And there it goes. It's loading. And as you all know, closing the last tab ruins everything or F10. Let's go to the web page. Oops. Hasn't caught my Oh yeah, there it goes, catching on keystrokes. So VirtualBox is a free sort of invaluable tool for testing out Web Converger. Highly, highly recommend it for for looking into to various problems that you might have with Web Converger, just, just for testing things out. Um, thanks for watching.